Hello everybody. Today we show you how to make Chinese curry paste. We make curry paste in two stages. This first stage, we add one liter oil to the pot. Then into the oil, you will want to add in one chopped leek like this. Next, you will want to add in free chopped celery stick. Add one handful of dry chilies. Next, we add in 20 bay leaves. Fresh better, but dry okay if no find. Mr. Chang, he grow his own. Now add in one cinnamon stick. One small handful star anise. Now add in chopped ginger. Four thumb-sized pieces will be enough. This so aromatic, you will love smell. Now you want to add in four chopped onions and three chopped bulbs of garlic. You see. Now you want to turn on the heat. You make sure cook on low, no cook high. Very bad, will taste terrible. Burn the curry, no good, taste bitter. Keep cooking for one hour on low simmer heat. If start bubble, it's too hot. No want no bubbles. Keep stir, wooden spoon is best. Once cooking for one hour, start look like this. Onions slightly brown. This ready, you no won't cook any more than this. Now you leave to sit in pot overnight. Then you want to sieve out the oil. No keep ingredients in. 200 gram curry powder. 800 gram plain flour. 4 tablespoon turmeric. Slowly add curry powder into your drained oil. Slowly mix very very slowly. Make sure when you do this only on medium heat. Otherwise go all lumpy. Just keep mixing. It smell lovely, jubbly. Whole house smell like curry. Like Chinese. Perfect tan. All girls come in Chinese Saturday night. Smell more like curry than the curry pot dolls. Maybe company make fake tan. Maybe they add in all curry powder to the fake tan maybe that's what give brown color anyway make sure you keep stirring until all the lumps are away make sure use wooden spoon and break up all the lumps against side of the pot Definitely no use whisk, oil splash up, burn you. Now, now, once nice and smooth and simmering, we add in the turmeric. Again, once you add, you stir until nice and smooth. You hear baby Chang laugh in background. Me no laugh today. Me crabbit, her up since four o'clock this morning. Me do this stupid video again. Mr. Chang obsessed with videos. Next step, we add in flour. Now, very, very important. You add in slowly. 
if this splash up on your skin, it will burn. You will end up in the hospital. So we add little bit at a time and work out the lumps. Just keep stirring and breaking up lumps as you go and slowly add in more flour very very carefully definitely no want this splash on you happened before my arm very very sore skin melt off your arm i don't know why mr chang records so much of pouring in the flour one two little bits enough to show you now i have to talk for too long i just want sleep of course baby chang sleep now when I have to do this, Mr. Chang, he get out bed, 11 o'clock. Me already up seven hour. Feel like cry today. Can't wait, go bed early. I hope. Mr. Chang, he then always wants to stay up late. Cause he no tired, he no up early. You will see. Once the flour all added, becomes nice thick paste. You will want to keep stirring and simmering this paste. Mr. Chan, he go dentist tomorrow. I know, wait, he complaining for a long time. He wait very, very long time for appointment. But I have to listen to him complain in pain for months now. Finally sorted tomorrow, thank God. Now we add in one melted block of coconut, cream coconut, into the paste. Once you add in all the coconut, you stir again and keep simmering for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Altogether, take one hour of stirring. You must stir the whole time. No going away. No going for a little cup of coffee. You need stir all the time. If this burns and stick bottom pot, no nice. Will taste like very liquid. No good. You need keep stir whole time. Round wooden spoon, much better, because reach all the corners of the pot. If you use square, you won't get corner and bits will stick. Now, once nice and thick like this, you will leave for 48 hours. If you use before then, it tastes like nothing. So, we will see you in two days time and show you how to make it into lovely jubbly curry sauce.